when the Holy Spirit touches you something shifts inside and you know at that moment something happened nothing might happen on the outside but the Word of God got planted inside. You might say, well, this is the Word of God. You know, that's, that's not enough and my faith is not enough. I need to see the change. We must understand that faith is another sense. And that sense is as verifiable as every other sense you have in your body. For example, we have five senses in our body through which we perceive something to be real. Your eyes tell you what you see. Your smell tells you what you smell. Now for example, if I spray perfume right now around you, you won't see perfume. But your smell, one sense out of five, will send you a signal saying, there is something in the air and it smells good. Your eyes will say, I can't see it. Your smell says, shut up. You're not supposed to see everything. We can't trust you only with everything. God also gave me a portion to control. And if I can smell it, you don't have to see it. See, and then there comes another sense. But many times God added sixth sense. And the sixth sense is faith. And many times we butcher faith bully faith because the eye said I can't see it the smell says I can't smell it the hands say I can't touch it and handle it and faith has become ridiculed faith is for the foolish for the fanatics and for the ignorant really why do you don't treat your smell like that why is the faith is trampled under the feet of five senses when God raised the faith to be on the same level as all the rest of five senses. We have to give faith the same honor you give to smell. When faith says it's gonna happen, the smell has to sit down and learn. When faith says God is gonna heal your body, the eyes have to shut up and pay attention. When faith says God is going to bless you and prosper you, the ears have to close up and say we trust you the way you trust us. When somebody says something, see I speak words, you can't see my words. But you're trusting one sense in your body. It's your ears. Only one. The rest of the senses right now are silent. The information that is coming into your mind is coming only through one sense and this sense is exalted above all other senses and the rest of the senses are bowing and saying yes, yes, whatever you say. Because God didn't put all of the authority in one sense, the eyes. That's one of the reasons why our faith has to be developed. This sixth sense, if God has said in your spirit, if God has said in his promise, listen, the eyes, the ears, the smell, the touch and everything, take a seat relax that is outside of your pay grade so shut up and pay attention to what the sixth sense the face says